Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning, family. And today um, I'm at a loss for words. Um, I'm Pastor Lalu from Christian Pentecostal Church. And um, I began this morning to just think about the amazingness. I don't know if that's a word, but the amazing nature of God and the amazing aspect of grace. And all I can say is that I'm at a loss for words. The fact that we stand as those who are Christians, brothers and sisters, we stand chosen by God, not because of anything we ever did, not because of anything we could ever do, but simply because of his grace. And that's the amazing thing about grace. You know, the word grace, you know, some have defined as an unmerited favor. So if it was because of anything I did, then it wouldn't be unmerited. That would be merited. It'd be something I did that led to the point where God said, okay, you. But simply because of his amazing love. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet enemies to What more can we say? What more? That's why I'm at a loss for words. There's nothing more to say to that. Like, have you ever imagined, like, you know, you, I mean, to do good, like, from our human understanding, it would never compare, but to do good to somebody who's being horrible to you, who's chastised, who's you, using and abusing you. The same thing Jesus asks us to do, to love our enemies. It's the same thing that God has done for each and every single one of us. That while we were sinners, Christ died for us. That God extended his love, his amazing grace. What more can we say? But thank you that I'm at a loss for words, that my mouth drops in awe, my jaw drops in awe, that for some strange reason, for unknown of the mysteries of your will, that you would have chosen me, called me, loved me, and you. What can we say? What can we say? But I'm also reminded, and uh, you know, this, as I was thinking and praying on this this morning, um, that the amazing aspect of this grace, the amazing aspect of this love, the amazing aspect of just being at a loss for words is that it doesn't stop at only grace. We see when, when you know, people are in the presence of God in scripture, that it's so much more. We see that the, the angels, they cry, holy, 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 over and over and over again, in awe. But I am also reminded that in John chapter one, the last verse, last two verses in John chapter one, which is verse 50 and verse 51, Jesus is speaking to Nathaniel. And Jesus, when Jesus meets Nathaniel, and Jesus says to Nathaniel, Behold an Israelite in whom there is no guile. And Nathaniel says, How do you know me? And Jesus says to him, Before I saw you when you were sitting under the tree. And Nathaniel's response to that. Jesus says, Before that Philip called thee when thou was under the fig tree, I saw thee. And Nathaniel was answered and said, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. Thou art the king of Israel. And Jesus' answer is so amazing to me. Jesus says, Jesus answered and said unto him, this is verse 50, because I said unto thee, 
I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than these. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. You see, that's my prayer, and that's my desire. That God I have seen, and I marvel at your grace. I marvel at your grace and your unfailing and relentless love. But still, I believe there is more. I believe there is more. So I open my arms to receive all that your love has in store, as the songwriter said. I believe. So open my eyes, open our eyes to see so that our mouths drop in awe and we remain at a loss for words. Because when we begin to step, when we begin to live this life, and if we ever steer away from grace and recognizing that it's merely the unmerited favor of God, that's only because of that that we stand and we are where we are today. will begin to take God for granted not stand in awe of him so father we thank you continue help us to remain in your grace and remember that were it not for grace help us to remain focused on that that where would I be if not for your grace and then open our eyes to see more and more and more at just how amazing you are. Just how awesome you are. God bless you. And we open our eyes to see you on a daily. Amen.